Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and in this video I'm going to share uh, something uh, with our community. Actually, I'm going to post this probably on YouTube as well, uh, but some people have asked about the, uh, you know, using card for a landing page uh, for their uh, directory or marketplace or niche community as a way of like launching something prior to actually having the WordPress directory up and running just as a way of like pre-selling your members on the um, you know the future appeal of what it is that you're building whether it's something local or something that's niche or something that's global it really matters not so here is the uh, the landing page that we just did for our uh, blurt publishing platform offer uh, and you can see here it's really quite simple this took me about I don't know three hours I'm not a designer uh, less than three hours actually maybe two hours uh, and that's including coming up with the, with the messaging and doing all the the minimal coding that's required right including like this here the the, the persistent footer and the text and the copy and the icons and all that stuff but a couple people have asked about incorporating like social media posts as a way of actually um, launching a platform, right? So launching a niche community. So maybe you could create this like sort of wall of testimonials or a wall of love as they're called, like in some of these uh, sort of, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, testimonial oriented landing pages where you have people aggregating tweets, let's say, uh, that sort of reflect the positive uh, valence or uh, feelings that people have towards you and your brand and your business. And I really think that's an ideal thing uh, to, it, to think about if you're building a, a directory or a niche community and it hasn't yet launched and you're trying to appeal to your members. So I'm going to show you something that I think is an interesting um, approach to, let's say, doing exactly that using something like card. So in this case here, this is the uh, actually the back end development, uh, you know, area of our card, you can see here, these are the card, um, you know, icons. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this. All right, so I just duplicated this tweet uh, column, right, or row, I should say. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto Twitter and I'm going to add some examples so you can see. How you can actually incorporate this into your own niche community directory or marketplace launch. Right. So in this case, this is our I'm going to take, let's say, one of my own tweets. This is a tweet from me. Right. So I'm just going to embed this. I'm going to copy this code here. I'm not sure if it copies. Yeah, it does. All right. Now I'm going to go back into card, the back end. As you can see, I'm not doing this in the smoothest way, but you get the point. All right, I'm just going to paste all that in. I'm going to save it. I'm not going to publish the changes yet, actually. Let's go here. All right, let's find another tweet. Let's search for, let's say, mindfulness. All right, so now we're going to take somebody else's tweet rather than mine. So this is how you would actually create a wall of tweets that were from folks in your niche, your market, your local area, let's say, uh, and you're going to use that as the vehicle by which you're going to pre-sell your community. So let's say, I don't know, I'm just taking anything random on mindfulness. I don't know what this is or who these people are. Let's say these guys here. All right, let's say I'm going to take this tweet. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take the one above it because it has a little bit more visual content. All right, so I want to copy the code. So it's now copied. I'm going to go back 
in here into the it's really I'm I'm sorry for this I'm just not I'm having a hard time scrolling on this laptop that I'm using today all right so I'm just gonna paste that in now I'm gonna update this all right so we're gonna publish this to a custom domain Let's view the site. Okay, so now you're starting to see there's the tweet, there's my tweet, right? And there's this guy's tweet, he's a stranger to me, I don't know who he is, but we just embedded that from uh, Twitter on the mindfulness a search. So let's say now, hypothetically speaking, that you want to launch a directory. And of course, you want to sort of format this a little better so that the columns uh, match, you know, aesthetically, height-wise and otherwise. So this is actually, there is an asymmetry here between, you know, these two columns, which isn't really that visually appealing, especially on a wider screen. On a phone, it won't make a difference, which is where most folks are going to be, you know, looking at your community. And the same thing here, you'd want to just kind of, you know, make sure all the content had the same sort of, uh, you know, spacing and alignment for uh, aesthetic purposes. But what you could do is take all of the folks that you want to incorporate on your directory, your marketplace. So let's say I wanted to take the top um, 20 mindfulness uh, teachers or authors or course creators, and I wanted to uh, actually put them on a landing page for our mindful marketplace community. And then I wanted to actually use that to pre-sell uh, something new that we're building on our platform. All I would do is just kind of create this curated uh, stream of, of Twitter content. It could be Facebook content. It could be Instagram content. It could be really any sort of content. And then, um, you know, I would use that as a way of, of showcasing the sorts of people and courses and books that we're actually incorporating in our community as a way of getting folks interested in the project or the platform. So you would just basically say, you know, this is the landing page for our you know, new community, which is in beta. It's going to be coming out in March of 2021, blah, 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 blah. And then try to get ordinary people in that niche, in that vertical, in that marketplace to be interested by dint of incorporating all these famous people. So let's say I went and found, a, uh, um, let's say Eckhart Tolle, let's say someone famous. All right, so here's Eckhart Tolle. You can see, I don't know, he's going to have a shitload of followers, almost 700,000. All right, this is four hours ago. So I could copy. Let's say I wanted to replace my tweet. And I'm going to make everyone suffer through watching me try to copy all this or delete all this content from the back end of my card. Unfortunately, like I said, my scroll bar, my my mouse pad on my MacBook ain't working all that well today. All right. So now I just updated that. And you know, before I even do that, I'm, I'm going to copy this column again. And I'm going to take another Eckhart Tolle tweet. Or, you know what, let's do the Dalai Lama. Wow, shit, he's got 20 million followers. I should have started with him. All right, so now you have, let's embed that. Now, uh, man, come on. Let's copy that. All right, so I hope you're understanding the general idea here is I'm going to be incorporating all of these tweets 
onto a landing page, and I'm not actually doing this, I'm actually going to remove these in a minute from the live site, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, because this is not built for a directory or a marketplace or a niche community, this is built for our own publishing platform, but I'm just showing you the various ways that you could use this same idea to actually create a really highly uh, attractive landing page using card to sell your community to sell your marketplace your local whatever it may be you would simply be replacing these social media posts right there's the Dalai Lama as we just did and you could have all of these streaming social media posts from these luminaries in your own field or the local leaders in your own area or all of the sushi restaurants or the doctors or the designers or the dentists or whatever it is that you're doing and then as you're announcing your page you could just systematically at mention all of them right so you could just be you know referencing Eckhart Tolle or John McKissock whatever his name is or you know um you know, the Dalai Lama or whatever. Obviously, you're not going to get their attention. The Dalai Lama is not going to be paying attention to someone like me. But if you're a local dentist and someone says, we are, you know, building a local community of the best dentists in Cleveland, Ohio, and here are some of the, um, you know, folks that people have recommended or nominated or said are the their favorites, Communities coming in March. This is our beta launch page. And you mentioned like Dentist Joe, right? His Twitter feed on your pre sale, on your, you know, pre launch page. He's going to be interested in learning more about what it is that you're doing, right? It's really using psychology to actually engender some interest and enthusiasm and some excitement for your project, your platform or whatever it is that you're publishing. And again, you can do this on card in a couple hours and have a complete pre-launch page up and running, you know, that looks great, that's designed around your own, uh, you know, branding. Obviously, this is ours, not yours, um, but this literally took no time at all. And as you can see, I could sit here and just copy, you know, make all these uh, duplicated uh, columns or rows or whatever using card and lay this out in some various uh, interesting ways and have like a a wall of social media posts that are hyper you know la uh, current right so these I mean, I'm recording this on the 19th of, to of February this is actually the 19th of February so every time that you're sending this out to folks either using email or outreach or whatever it may be you're hyper Karen, if you keep updating these, or whether it's a couple days old or not, you, know, you can even create a script uh, where this was auto-updated uh, if you wanted, so it's always the freshest post from the Dalai Lama or Eckhart Tolle or, you know, whoever this dude is, et cetera, et cetera. Again, you know, this is not going to make you rich, but this will, it's a great way of building interest and enthusiasm and excitement and curiosity about what it is that you're building uh, directory wise or marketplace wise using a free tool or a very low cost tool like card and using a public you know um, social media stream like Twitter again with the understanding that you could replicate or emulate or duplicate this process using TikTok or Instagram or Pinterest or Facebook or whatever it is that you'd prefer, or in an ideal scenario, you would just mix it all up, right? So you can create this entire sort of social stream with Facebook posts and Twitter updates and, you know, TikTok videos and all this stuff that is all announcing this project or platform or publishing a page that you have coming up, you know, for a directory or marketplace or a niche community of one sort or another. All right, so if you have any questions about this uh, in the course, feel free to send me an email, hi at mindfulmarketplace.com. Again, that's just for those of you in the course. If you're actually watching this on YouTube, which I think I'm gonna uh, share this there as well, um, you know, feel free to leave a uh, question in the comments. And if I'm able, I will uh, certainly 
respond time alone. Okay, thank you so much everyone for watching and as always, have a wonderful day.